freaking sad sight, man. Just a sad sight. But I can see all those people over there, way over there at pins. I'm gonna try to see if we can make it through here. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. <laughs> Hey YouTube family, Robert here with Coastal GX. Out here at South Padre Island, today I'm gonna be joining a very special group of people. Actually, it's gonna be Coastal Cleanups. You've seen some of my videos with them before. Awesome, awesome group. You know, Tanya Tallard and, and, her, and her board and all the volunteers. Awesome people, love what they do. But today I'm gonna be meeting up with another group out of Port Mansfield. If everything you know goes as planned, uh, this other group has been doing the cleanups for many, many years. Recently talked to the organizer, and uh, so I'm looking forward to going out there and seeing what they're doing out at the East Cut, where they're cleaning it up. I'm also hoping to meet a bunch of other new subscribers, new people uh, to the channel. These cleanups are the type of events that are just perfect to meet new people because that's where you're gonna find like-minded folks and uh, people who like to camp and people who love the beach, who have a genuine passion for the beach and uh, keeping our area clean. As always, my stuff is unscripted. Nothing is planned. You know, I don't know what's gonna happen. So it could be a boring video, maybe, or maybe not. You never, never know. Coastal cleanups gathered at the end of the road and were already cleaning up the beach when I arrived. I stopped and decided to take these drone shots of the volunteers. Almost 300 people signed up, but many of them did not have 4x4s to reach the East Cut. Cleaning the beach is important no matter where you do it. <clears throat> they decided to pick up trash in this area. Their plans, they really wanted to go to the East Cut, but logistically, time-wise, it just wasn't gonna happen. My understanding is that the group over there at the East Cut is, uh, my understanding is that the group at the East Cut is gonna be starting at around 10, or that's where they're gonna be arriving there at the cut. I really want to be able to get some video of them. I really am trying. So I'm gonna come back to the Costa Cleanups group. Um, but right now I'm gonna head on over to the East Cut, see if I can make it there on time. Right when I left uh, Costa Cleanups, when I left that area, it was 10 o'clock and um, it's 9.45 right now. So it's 45 minutes later. It took me about 45 minutes to get to the East Cut. As you can see, there are the jetties um, just from that area. So I guess if you're ever wondering, you know, how long in ideal conditions, you know, following the speed limit, everything, you know, being smooth. Yeah, that's uh, roughly what what you could expect um, so this thing was supposed to happen at 10 well they were supposed to be out here at 10 so yeah I, I hopefully I made it on time now what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to see if I can make it all the way west as you guys recall the last time around it was completely flooded I'm gonna show you guys why these folks are so dedicated to cleaning up the beach let me show you the the crap that i'm talking about here we're at the jetties here 
and uh, just take a look at this man look at this look at how bad this is all these cans trash cans overflowing with crap freaking sad sight man just a sad sight but I can see all those people over there way over there at pins on the pin side I see them gathered up over there so I'm gonna try to see if I can I'm gonna try to see if we can make it through here these are not fresh tracks or I don't know maybe they are but so easy because of the rain that was here the water just made everything super compact so easy to drive back here I, oh yeah I see some people over there picking up trash oh man this is awesome let me see if I can get back there I've never I haven't been back there in forever okay so let's see if I can access and the reason why I want to access that area is uh, not because I want to mess around but because I'm trying to trying to see if I can document and help out with this cleanup and perhaps bring a little awareness to this area in a positive way it was at this point where I had to travel through some sketchy muddy trails Unfortunately, the terrain was just too much for Sandy. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. I think I should have taken this other line. <laughs> the muddy road wasn't satisfied with Sandy and swallowed up another truck. This entire mess was recorded and I plan on bringing you an entire episode on it in a few days. I promise you there is a happy ending I that see? might just inspire you and entertain you at the same time. This video is about the beach cleanup and so I will continue with my mission. But check it out guys, we made it man. We are at the East Cut and this is pretty good. So hopefully we'll be able to jump on a boat and Let's see what's up. Oh, I gotta say a big thanks to Port Mansfield PD and uh, this other gentleman over here. Uh, I had no way of communicating with the group. So I came out here, just started whistling, see if anyone would, uh, I would attract anyone's attention. And sure enough, uh, they, they heard me, they came over, but uh, I'm going to see if I can go over there and, and get some good video of, of these awesome people. Thank you, gentlemen. All right. Yeah, be, I'm, I'm, I'm being sure to, to get you guys a cameo in the, in the episode. How you doing, partner? I'm Robert. I'm Robert. I'm Quate. Quate? Yeah. Nice hey, Quate. You. Nice. Nice we'll meeting you. We'll get out. Yeah, let me let me see if I can get my fat leg in there. I'm sorry, brother. That's all right. All right, you ready? Quite there. Vamanos. Let's go. Guess what? I'm on a vessel. I'm on a craft. Just left South Padre Island, heading over to the pin side with my brand new friend Quate over here. This guy helped me out over here. Uh, I'm so glad. Port Mansfield PD, awesome people. They heard me. And I was like, hey, I'm just trying to get out there, trying to document the cleanup. And uh, as you can see, look at this. This is beautiful. Just wonderful. Look at this. All of these people, all of these boats lined up. Normally, these folks would be out here enjoying doing some inshore fishing. But today, they dedicated their time to coming out here and helping out. Okay guys, I'm on the pin side now. Thanks to Cuate, gave me a nice ride over here. And uh, let me see if I can find the organizers and uh, perhaps talk to some of the people that are helping out over here in this cleanup.
we've organized this thing going back to 2008 and uh you know in port mansfield cut we do the mansfield channel we do the beach and it's a logistical nightmare but we managed to do it for 12 years 12 years we uh we all we meet at the port mansfield chamber of commerce pavilion we feed everybody breakfast we give everybody uh, a t-shirt this is the t-shirt this year sam caldwell art on the t-shirt give <laughs> sam a little plug there and uh we give everybody instructions on letting them know what we're going to be doing and then we start loading them up on boats and we come out to the cut and he's like directing traffic out there saying, you go there, you go there, you go there. We just hopscotch up the Mansfield cut. And all of this trash you're seeing came from the Mansfield cut. We frequent the beach. We have a home in Port Mansfield. Uh -huh. So we come to the boat and we go to the beach. Yeah. And we came across the jetties uh, in 2008. And uh, I don't remember exactly. Huh? Seven. seven huh? It was in seven because yeah. we started the, the, in an eight. You're correct. Right. And it was... Um, I think Ike, a couple of hurricanes up the coast had mm -hmm. backwashed pins. And this beach, when it's pretty, is the most pristine beach in Texas. And it's, you know, as mm -hmm. pretty as any place in the United States at times. But it was just backwashed with everything from decks to washing machines you could not imagine in lots of plastic. We can't just leave this trash here, you know. It, it was just covered. It looked like a landfill out here. Yeah. And uh, we said, we have to do something. So we started out, we had about 30 people, I think, the first year, and we're up to 225 people this year. So how can people help? They can just volunteer next year. They can go to our Facebook page, Port Mansfield Cut and Beach Cleanup. It's got my phone number. It's got both of our phone numbers. It's got our email on it. And they can just email me and say, I want to be a part on this next year and I'll put their name. I've got a distribution list with like 350 names on it. And I start sending out emails, you know, around January. Okay, we've got the date set. This is what it is. So people can start planning it. Is this your first time out here? Yes, it is. It's our first year, our family to come. Be Some friends invited us and we thought this would be a great service project for our family. We found shoes. We have found robes. We have found lots of plastic bags, lots of bottle caps. People need to throw away their bottle caps. Um, toothbrushes. Lots of cans, you name it, I think we found it. It's good to clean up the area around the sea because I don't want like sea turtles to die because we like those animals. Anything weird that you all found? Uh, not really, most of it was just normal stuff. A bowling ball. You found a bowling ball? We found a bowling ball. Where? It, it, well, it How looked like a float, it? but it was a bowling ball. Okay. Yeah, so I think the bowling ball wins the yeah. weirdest object. Yeah. <laughs> A bowling okay, ball. Yeah, who bowls out here? I don't know. What are you bowling for? I, I, yeah, and who puts a bowling ball in a boat? Is this my ride? Thank you. Well, there you go, guys. I was able to make it over through the pin side and uh, talk to some awesome people. And what can I say? I mean, what they're doing is such a noble cause. Been doing it for a long time. But if you want to be a part of this, don't hesitate. Go ahead and sign yourself up. I think you're gonna have a great time. It looks so cool. I, for sure, I gotta come back next year. It's a good cause. We pick up a lot of trash. It can be pretty fun. Hang out with all your friends. And you're doing a good thing, so. You find a lot of chairs and crates for some reason. We've been here, of course, since it started. Uh, and what a lot of people don't know is it has changed a lot. I mean, even compared to like maybe three years ago, we had like maybe 10, 15 boats who were like coming back and taking trips to where now we have enough boats who you just have enough people to come all at once and take your crew back. And it's pretty nice. It's definitely changed. The beach is a lot cleaner and I think it makes people more aware. We've got to protect the beach. This is important to our fisheries. If we don't uh, protect this beach, then uh, uh, we'll lose it all. Okay. I returned to the South Padre Island side and spent some time fishing and chatting with my new friend Erasmo. He is a Coastal GX subscriber who right? saved the day. From, you're coming all the way from Georgia. Yeah, from Georgia. You're on vacation. Yeah, I could say you could say I'm on vacation. I'm taking it easy, just going fishing, coming to the uh, beach, you know. Me and my dog. And uh, you subscribe to Coastal GX? Oh, claro que sí. On uh, on Facebook, Instagram, and, and YouTube. Um, so you knew I was coming out here. Oh yeah, you put it out there. Yeah. yeah. You said you said I even registered 
for the coastal cleanup. Yeah. I did already a couple of bags and did my thing, so I come and fix, might as well take advantage of the beautiful weather. You'll see more of Erasmo in the next episode where I will focus on Sandy's mud bogging adventure. So now, what is the plan? The plan is to make my way back to see if I can still find, um, if I can still find uh, Tanya and the Costa Cleanups crew and uh, go say hi to them. And I didn't get an interview with her, so I would like to go and do that real quick. But um, right now, first, the first thing I need to do is get out of this mess. What do you think about the situation here at South Padre Island? Yeah, so this is the first time I've been this far down the island. Um, I'm always really impressed at how clean the island, the, the city um, side of the island is. They do a really good job of managing the litter and, and cleaning up and getting their guys out there. Um, but just seeing the amount of trash that's coming through that everyone's picked up. I mean, it's trailers and truckloads and just over and over and over again. So it's kind of crazy. People often say like one person can't make a difference or you can't change the world. But to me, I'd rather be a part of the solution than the problem. Mm -hmm. And if everybody did a little bit, then we'd accomplish a whole lot. So definitely don't give up every tiny bit you do. Even just coming out and going for a walk and picking up a little grocery bag full of trash, it makes a big difference. So don't ever give up, keep going, make sure you're part of the solution and you don't have to be part of the problem. No, we just, uh, we're very proud to come out and it's exciting we work in Austin in the office a lot and so it was nice to get out and really see the physical things all the people coming out and love and the trash they picked up and just to be a part of it and we appreciate uh, Coastal Cleanups inviting us. Yeah and there, I think there's a couple of quick ways that people can get involved um, in the, the litter issue and in data around litter because we are kind of focusing on litter data so that we can make better educational decisions, better infrastructure decisions, better policy decisions. And data is really important and we haven't had a whole lot of data. Um, so we've been, we've been working on that. And a couple of things that come to mind if people are interested in trying to provide good data, mm -hmm. so, you know, citizen scientist oriented data, uh, the Nerdle Patrol is definitely one of them. So uh, you can look it up on the internet, but basically if you live on a beach and you find little plastic pellets um, along the high tide line, and they're called nurdles. They're used for manufacturing new plastics um, and pick up as many as you can in 10 minutes. Go to Nurdle Patrol's website, report that data. I was very successful, best one yet. So we had um, 205 people registered of last, as of last night, but we had more people um, come that didn't register. So it's probably the biggest cleanup we've ever had. And people really worked really hard. Um, we cleaned a lot of trash, so uh, dumpsters full. This area that you chose right here, the end of the road, well, what, are, what are some of the reasons that you like you know, tackling this area? Well, it's my favorite part of the beach because there's no hotels out here. Mm -hmm. It's it's rural, um, nice and quiet, um, and I love the wildlife out here. But it's also because there's no hotels out here, there's no tax money to pay to clean it. So if we didn't clean this, um, nobody else would. So it, you know, it's, it's so much better after today. So it was looking like a landfill. So every bit helps and truckloads and truckloads went out with trash today. So, you know, um, we, it's, it's kind of our beach, you know, since yeah. nobody maintains it, it's a public beach, we yeah. gotta take care of it. Tanya, tell me, uh, if somebody wants to help next time around, when do you think you're gonna have the next one and 
how can people get involved? Okay, uh, well, the next cleanup's gonna be September 26th, which is gonna be really fun, because we're having a bunch of fitness people come and help us with that. All the gyms, there's a big convention on the island, so that's gonna be a big cleanup. But in between, um, we have plenty of supplies, so uh, if any groups wanna come out, um, we'll provide the supplies for people to clean. You know, family reunions, birthdays, um, we got plenty of trash bags, trash grabbers, and water, and everything that you'll need. So um, you can um, find us on our website, coastacleanups.com, and Coast of Cleanups on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and you can email me at coastacleanups at gmail.com. Wonderful. Hey guys, so that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate your support. Uh, yeah, again, please look up uh, those organizations if you want to join, if you want to lend a hand. You know, it would be uh, a good idea to join these organizations, Coast of Cleanups, and of course the Port Mansfield Group. These folks uh, are doing a wonderful job. So go ahead and check them out. You guys be safe. Take care.